Well, I'm happy to welcome back Robert Kowalski, author of the new eight-week cholesterol cure. Robert, I bet I have 20 friends who take statin drugs, yet I hear all Just of these... Just 20? Well, <laughs> I don't talk to everybody about it. But, but yeah, I understand yeah. that statin drugs really are not the panacea that they're made out to be and actually can be dangerous. Could you talk to us a little bit about that? Well, th there's no question that doctors uh, pass these out almost like uh, sugar pills. Mm -hmm. Just write the prescription as soon as they see that cholesterol levels are up and there's no more effective way to get cholesterol levels down. I mean, boom, uh, write the prescription, take the pills. A few weeks later, your cholesterol is lowered without ever touching your diet, perhaps even little emphasis is placed on those lifestyle behaviors as, as well. But there's a dark side to the statins. Uh, it, in, indeed, when they were doing the first research on the very first statin drug, they noticed that there was an, an ill effect. The statin drugs work by inhibiting an essential enzyme that's necessary to produce cholesterol. So. If that enzyme is inhibited, mm -hmm. then you don't produce as much of the LDL cholesterol. Now, that's the good part. The side effect that we most commonly see is muscle aches and pains. Now, it's one thing to have a little muscle ache or pain and say, well, I must have pulled a muscle. I think I did a little too much uh, walking last weekend or gardening or whatever, and I feel stiff and sore. But left untouched and unchanged and continuing to take that drug can lead to permanent muscle damage throughout the body and also affecting the kidney. In fact, one of the uh, statin drugs called Baycol was taken off the market a few years back because 37 people died of kidney problems from taking that drug because of this exact mechanism of action. What's the answer to this? It's simple. I truly believe that niacin is superior to the statin drugs without those kinds of problems. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.